Hello everybody, I am Nico D, so you might know Armbian Gaming, which is a script that I've written for Armbian to install all kind of gaming apps for ARM64. Now I've written one for x86, so for Armbian x86. So here it is. So to find it, we type Armbian Gaming x86 in Google, and here it is. If we all search a little bit more, it will go, go to the top. So this is it, gaming script for Armbian x86. This script is written for Armbian Jammy and Noble might work on Debian, but no support for that. So this can install Steam, PPSSPP, RetroPie and Xonotic. And to download, we go there, download zip, and I will unpack it to my home folder. Extract and home folder select, OK. So to download Armbian, you can go to armbian.com and there to downloads. And there you go down here, Intel AMD. And this is the one that I'm using, Armbian Noble GNOME. So I set it up like I wanted, but all the rest is a fresh installation. So Armbian x86 on the CADAS mind with kernel 6.6.47. Now to go into Armbian Gaming CD Armbian and then type tab. So it auto fills and then slash bin slash bash dot Armbian Gaming x86.sh. And then type 1 to install Steam. So once the installation is done, we go here and we open Steam and it will install a few other packages. So we press enter, type our passwords. We will have to press enter a few times here again. Here press yes or Y. Then it will update Steam to the latest version. Now that is done, we can open Steam. And it does take a little bit before it opens, but it will work. And here it is. So let me log in. And here we are in Steam. So I am on the CADAS mind. It isn't a powerful gaming device, but it can play some games. So I, so I installed Counter-Strike 2 and it works, but it doesn't run that great. And as second we have PPSSPP, so again we open Armbian Gaming, so it's slash bin slash bash dot Armbian dash gaming x86.sh and there we choose two PPSSPP. So this is very simple, it will build PPSSPP from sources and then it will install it.
So once it is installed, we can open it with PPSSPPSDL, all capital letters. I'm not gonna show you how to set it up. It is very simple to use. You can use any controller with it. I am using a PS3 controller, I think, or a PS2 controller. Works great. Then we have got RetroPie. So again we open the Armwind Gaming script. There we choose number 3 for RetroPie. It will first download the RetroPie project and then it will open a script to install it. So here it opens that script. So we press OK and then we choose basic install. It is all we need to do. So choose yes. This will take a long time, just wait until it finishes. Once it is finished you can open it with emulation station. Just type emulation station in the terminal. So once it is finished we can exit the installation scripts. And now we can open it, so emulation station and that opens it. So first thing to do is Set up your game parts. So I will do that. So it is simple to use. All your files need to be in your home folder and RetroPie folder. There we have got our BIOS folder for our BIOSes and our ROMs folder for our ROMs. Just put everything there and enjoy the gameplay. And then as last we can build Xenotic. So we can open the Armbin Gaming x86 script and we choose number 4. This will build Xenotic. So this will also take a while depending on how powerful your system is. Once it has finished, we go to our home folder, so cd dot dot, and there cd xenotic, and there we do dot slash all run, and that's how we run xenotic. So that will be it for today. It is a simple script. It installs Steam, PPSSPP, RetroPie, and xenotic. I will add things later on. I will see what I can add. So thank you all for watching, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, see you all later, bye! Triple kill. Three frags left. Two frags 
Tesla.